right. Is acetic acid a weak acid or a strong acid? Why? So acetic, once again, if you see the answer, um, I'm definitely giving you a time to even read the explanation because that's very helpful. But I just have to write down the question first. So acetic acid, weak or strong? Why? So for this actually, see I have a lot of tabs open actually, so I can just refer to them. This is our acids and bases tab. So first, let's actually find out what acetic acid is. Acetic acid, okay, and its molecular structure, something that you do have to memorize, unfortunately, um, is CH3COOH, okay? So this is acetic acid. Um, it would look kind of like that this right here is acetic acid okay and we kind of see because we don't know if it's a weak or a strong acid the reason why is what I'm about to do uh, once you find out okay this thing called Ka which is the dissociation constant for acids okay then you're on something, okay? Then you can start to answer what the question is truly asking for. So, with that being said, what does it mean dissociation constant means? It means when it's put in a solution, how much of it actually dissociates, forms into like, for example, with acetic acid, how much of it forms this and that. This right here is what the dissociation constant is doing. So in fact, if I have to write down the whole equation, it would look like this. Okay. That is what it would look like. All right. And you know, you don't forget your aqueous solution. All right. So that's what we're dealing with here. Now, Ka comes in many shapes and sizes, but you would never see a Ka that is less than zero, okay? Because zero means that that thing is like, it does not dissolve. It's um, completely insoluble, that it will not separate at all. It's like kind of like putting like a chunk of metal in water. Um, even though that does technically get oxidated and, you know, rust and everything, that's kind of what we're dealing with here where it's like you won't, It'll take a while for you to actually start seeing pieces mixed with the water. So zero is like quite extreme, but that's like the lower limit of Ka, okay? Now there is limits in between, okay? Ka can range from zero to infinity. That's what we're dealing with. But strong acids need a Ka, okay, to be greater than one, okay? Anything with a Ka greater than one, it means the strong acids. So you can probably guess a weak acid, okay? And just because that just means that when you put it in water, it's going to like separate like completely. It, it doesn't, like no part of it wants to stay together again. Good example is like when you put salt in water. You, unless it's like, fully um, saturated, which is a whole different issue. That means there's literally no water left for the salt. Um, it would just dissolve completely. It will form the Na plus ions and the chlor chloride ions as well. So now weak acid, something that's not like salt, where it's like you put it in the only like parts of it dissolve. Um, a lot of chemicals do that. You see like the solutions are usually like cloudy and stuff. Um, that's what we're talking about here, where there is like um, some precipitate formed. Uh, so with that being said, though, it's usually between zero and one. Okay, so it's like ten to the minus one, ten to the minus two. When you start dealing with uh, decimals and such, it can get really small. And the smaller it is, the more insoluble, or the less it dissociates. Uh, insolubility is usually for like um, when you're dealing with solids. Uh, dissociation is when you're dealing with like aqueous uh, solutions like these, where it's like um, 
you start with you know the it's still liquid like acetic acid is still liquid but when it enters of forming acetate and high um, hydrogen ions that's where the issue is so now let's look at the table finally to see where acetic acid sits uh, CH3COOH acetic acid it's like uh, there we go acetic acid 1.76 times 10 to the negative 5 right away you notice that it's definitely less than 1 it's obviously greater than 0 so acetic acid simply based on its dissociation constant Ka is a weak acid because it does not dissociate completely example would be like a hydrochloric acid HCl strong acid put that in water you will literally only have Cl ions and H ions you wouldn't have like HCl still flowing around okay let's see weak acid because exactly the Ka is times 10 to a negative 5 in fact I'll just do that um, I'll write the Ka as well that's actually how we found it 1.8 times 10 to a negative 5 because of that it's a weak acid okay so it talks about how it doesn't dissociate completely and consistency of the acid the dissociation constant is low this is a weak acid anything really as soon as you hit less than one you can just say it's a weak acid uh, just because that means it doesn't dissociate completely um, meaning that however much moles or concentration of acetic acid you have or other weak acids the um, acidity like the pH value would read higher than it would be of like the same concentration of a strong acid and by higher I mean it would appear more it would appear less acidic because exactly it didn't dissociate completely okay so that's one of the question 16 here